Well, how are you doing? <clears throat> this uh, video is going to be titled um, How We View the Sun. Okay, the sun here, I have a photograph here. As you can see, the sun here is high above the horizon. Uh, the sun is moving in a horizontal. Well, it's going to be maybe a curved path. I don't know what kind of path it takes. I have no idea what kind of path the sun takes. How it does what it does. Uh, what it's made of, anything like that. So there's no point in asking me those questions because I don't make claims about any of that. I'm only making claims about perspective. <clears throat> so the sun is not actually, during the day, getting closer to the horizon. And it's not actually rising during the morning from the horizon. It only appears to do so. It's just appearances. And that's why when we measure the position between the horizon and the sun, we measure it with angles. Because angles are measurement of perspective. So we're measuring the, measuring the apparent height of the sun or whatever uh, celestial body above the horizon. That's what we're doing. All right? So it's just apparent positions. So we don't see, because we can't see what the sun is actually doing. We only view it in our frontal perspective view. We don't see it orthographically. If we could look at the sun orthographically and see it doing what it's doing, then we'd know what it's doing for definite, but we can't see that, right? But what it appears to do is take a horizontal path above us, making a horizontal parallel with another hor horizontal. The Earth being the first horizontal, and the Sun's path, let's just say, being the second horizontal. Two parallel lines, right? Um, if we just uh, come to this photograph, we see the Sun again, and the Sun is lower, closer to the horizon here, but it's still the same altitude above the earth and above the, the water, above, you know, it didn't change its altitude, it just changed its angular position from our point of view. That's all that happened. There is no um, height to it um, possible uh, to, uh, 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 to be uh, obtained through angles. You can't do this. Uh, a lot of people in the op on our op opposing side keep on trying to claim that we should be able to use trigonometry to measure the height of the sun above our flat earth, this rubbish. And there's a straw man, the rubbish, that came from their side back in 2015. They, they, they were the first to actually start stating that you should be able to use trigonometry and measure the height of the sun. And that's why uh, there was a few flat earthers over the years uh, who were naive started claiming, oh, the sun is 3,000 miles high, it's 4,000 miles high, it's 2,000 miles high, it's 500 miles high, all these different uh, heights that they want to give to the sun. The reason is, is that like, they were taking different angles. So if you take an angle now when the sun is up here like this, and you take an angle in the next time, then you do trigonometry, uh, trigonometry on both those angles, and you're going to end up with two different heights. Because it's a, an angle, it's perspective. It's a perspective height, an angular height. It's not actual. The only way you're ever going to know what height the sun is at is to know what height it's at when it's at your 90 degrees. Right? And there is no way to use angles when it's at 90 degrees. Your 90 degrees is 90 degrees. It's directly above your head. It's at your zenith. You will never know. You will never know what height the sun is. Right? Because you'll only ever view it at your 90 uh, uh, now and again. So... The same with stars or anything else. When they're at your 90, that's the only time you're going to be able to view them at their actual height. If, according to your eyesight and what you see as the observer, if they even have a height, we don't know what the hell they are or how they do what they do, right? The point is that if they are actual physical things that are up above us like that, then only when they're at your 90 do you have any hope of finding out what they are. You will never do it when they're at 89 degrees, you can forget it. That means they're not at their actual height. So all angular measurements of the sun, all trigonometry across a horizontal plane of uh, to gain a height to the sun or the stars or anything else, it's all absolute rubbish. It can't be done. You will never, I don't care if you have five different people in different places, it's all angular measurements, it's all everyone's perspective at that time, on, on that day, whatever. It's a perspective measurement, so it's not an actual. It's an apparent, not actual measurement. So you're wasting your time if you think you can measure the heights of celestial bodies with angles. It's a fool's errand. It's naive. 
it's nonsense, just forget about it. And that's to both sides. To my own side, who some of them, some people think you can do that, do that, and to the opposing side who keep on asking us to do it. Because they want you to make some stupid claim that the sun is 2,000 miles high or some rubbish like that, and then they'll debunk it. Right? So all that is is them looking to build a straw man argument against you. And if they can't, uh, and they won't have to build a straw man argument against you if you go and make a claim that the sun is 2,000 or 4,000 or whatever miles high. When you do that, you're making a claim that's easily debunked. I could debunk it myself. So I've listened to our opposition ask us this for years, and a lot of our opposition only up until recent times because I told them didn't realise that you couldn't do that over a flat plane. They didn't even, a lot of, most of them, not all of them, but most of them didn't even realise that you can't measure an angular height to the sun. Because it's an angular height, it's going to change its angle, it's going to change, its, the trigonometry is going to change, your angle is going to change, your internal angles, the length of the sides of your triangle, all this other things, that's all going to change, and you won't be able, to, so your last, the last angle you took to it will mean nothing because it'll have a whole new trigonometry height. Because it's angles, it's perspective, not actual, apparent. So you have an apparent height to the sun or any other celestial body. So, whether it be, look at this one, this one, and this one. The sun appears at a different angular height over the horizon, but it's not higher or lower. It only appears that way, okay? Now, I'm gonna show a quick demonstration of what I'm talking about. So, I have, Two suns here, right? But they're both the same sun, but they're only be moving at a different track. So down here, this is the observer down here. This is the sun at the 90. When the sun is at the 90, there's only this sun, right? But when the sun moves off of 90 for the observer, right, it's moving along a horizontal in the sky. Now, even if it's taking a curved path, it's it's altitude above the surface of Earth. We'll use this bottom line here, this green line is the surface of Earth. This blue line here would be the sky. So the sun, what the sun is doing is it's moving along, uh, holding a constant altitude on that day, right? right? There is uh, evidence that it appears to rise and fall throughout the year. I don't know how specifically uh, correct that is, but it, it can appear that way from, you know, from our perspective point of view from 21st of June to 21st of December. But on any given day, the sun is holding its a constant altitude, uh, f f as far as we can tell, above the earth. So here it is moving along, holding a constant altitude, right? But we don't view that, right? What we view is the sun here at our 90, and it starts to move, but it appears to get lower in the sky, right? So this one here, right? This is the purple one. This is 77.43 degrees. This one here, this is the green one, this is 80.5 degrees. But when I bring this down, it lines up with the purple one. So now the two of them are basically the same, right? I don't have it exactly lined up, but, uh, but it's lined up. I, I couldn't line it up exactly, it doesn't matter. Um, you, you understand exactly what I'm showing. So I move this along, I move it along to, let's say, 45 degrees. Right, about here, maybe about here, right? So, right, 45 degrees. Now, what you would see, with, what you would see is as the sun moves from 77 point whatever degrees and moves to your 45 degree position, you're going to see this as the observer. It's going to appear to get lower in the sky. That's what you're going to see. So, from your point of view, sorry, from your point of view, right? you're going to see that. Right? Now they're both at 45 degrees. But this one appears lower in the sky than this one. But they're both the same thing. It's just your perspective view is giving it this horizontal here. This is what is being depicted in a protractor or the celestial sphere model. That's basically what's being depicted. But they depicted it with a curve. But a pro protractor or a celestial sphere model could be a square. It makes no difference. It doesn't have to have a curved uh, roof. It just has to have a horizontal baseline. That's the difference. It has to have a horizontal baseline. But a protractor doesn't need to have a curve on its roof. It can have a square roof. 
you know. So when, when this is basically what the protractor is trying to show, right? So as this sun, as the sun moves away, the angle to it changes, right? Right? But because we don't see an orthographic view, this is what we would see in orthographic view, if we could see it orthographically, and we look at somebody here who is a, an observer, we would see the sun doing this. Right? But to them, to the observer, it would appear to do this. So they're both 21 degrees, right? but look at how close this one appears to be to the Earth's surface as opposed to this one. So I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. And I'm bringing it over. I'm not going to do too much of this, just to show. And I stretch this along a bit. Right. So it's after going to 13 degrees, and this one then follows it. 13 degrees. So the tip, the point is, is that I could bring that one up the top there. I could bring that top one all the way down to zero. Right. Both of them will go all the way down to zero. Right. But the point is, to bring that top one to zero, we'll have to be zooming out and zooming back in and moving around, and it just take up a lot of time. That's unnecessary. So if you just imagine that I brought that right um, to zero, and this one is following it, because the two of them should be moving, like from the observer's point of view, like obviously there is not two suns, there's only one sun. But this is the perspective sun, and that one there is what the sun will be doing if you could see it in orthographic. So this one here, as the angle gets tighter, it just appears to get go towards the, the horizon. At this point, the sun appears to be setting. You can see the bottom of the sun here, right? It appears to be setting, right, from the observer's point of view. But if the but when the observer is able to zoom in with a camera, the sun is still above the horizon. But eventually, even with a camera, that sun is going to start setting, right? Unless you've got a really good camera. And you can start zooming in and even with perspective view it will still eventually set but you can zoom in and see the sun set so but the sun is not going into anything all you're viewing is the perspective a perspective setting that's all you're viewing so I'll have to make this yeah as you can see this is 0.17 degrees this one here is 0.17 degrees so I'll bring it back up, it goes up to one point, there's 2.03 degrees. So as it comes down, it just gets to zero, no more degrees, just zero. Back up, there we are. So that's how we view the sun. That's how the sun uh, appears to us to work. That's what we view it as. That's how we view it. So to us, the sun is on this track, right? when really the sun is on the track up here, moving along. So this is what the sun is more likely actually doing, right? But that's, we don't view it that way, we view it this way. And I don't, I didn't give the sun here, I didn't give it any specific height. Um, you can call it whatever you want, 36 miles, I don't care. Uh, because I laid out 36 blocks, uh, one down here, I laid out 36 blocks. So it doesn't matter, right, 36. It doesn't matter what way it works, the point of what what, uh, what you uh, actual height you try and give it, because we don't know what height it is. What matters is that it's a depiction of how we view it. And both match because that's what it would be doing as opposed to this is what we perceive this one here but the angles of the both of these depictions will always match but this one can't be a horizontal up there and match perspective because it's not perspective perspective is going to be like this we're going to view things getting closer and closer to the horizon from our point of view